the National Conference of Black Mayors just ended its annual conviction and is in the midst of a transition. After several years of financial and organizational challenges, one of the nation's oldest black organizations is trying to build success by expanding globally, reaching out to black mayors in Europe, Africa, and South America. Robert Bowser is mayor of East Orange in New Jersey, and he joins me right here in the studio. Thank you so much, Mayor, for being here with us. Glad to be here. Uh, so glad. So you just had the conference, uh, just ended on, on yesterday, is that right? Yes. Okay. I, this seems to me to be uh, a genius plan to reach out to mayors globally to help revitalize this organization. Talk a little bit about what the purpose of the organization has been and why the global outreach at this time. Well, originally we were formed by the few mayors who happened to be African-American uh, 40 years ago. And, and we've expanded now because now there's close to 600 plus African-American mayors in the United States. But uh, part of what we do is, as mayors, we, we serve all the people at a local level. So it was my intent that we would get to be international and help solve problems all across the world by working together as one group. So it's just not uh, uh, people of, of color because mayors are mayors for everybody. Mm -hmm. And we have the same problems, whether it's, it's in Uganda, whether it's in uh, Senegal, as, as if it's in St. Louis or New York or wherever it is. So we're here to try to work together to solve these problems on a common ground. And is it, are you providing support for one another, maybe exchange of information? Is that your primary goal to say, hey, listen, I feel your pain and this is what I did? <laughs> well, we, we have, we have what, uh, working agreements with, say, Senegal and Nigeria now. In particular, we're looking to expand that, working with Colombia, South America. In fact, we have a conference coming there as a summit in, in Colombia in September. And what it is, we talk about the common problems and how we can solve them. For instance, it's not just the U.S. mayor saying we're going to help other countries. We're looking to do things that they do and they do well. In particular, Senegal, which has reduced their HIV rate of infection by 0.7 percent. There's no city in the United States that can claim that. Here they are in the middle of Africa where it's supposed to be, you know, this big uh, uh, infection rate. So whatever they're doing, we would love to duplicate that. So we're working with the UN uh, through the HIV AIDS program and all of these things come together to better our people. Indeed, and I can understand how something like health initiative, whether it be AIDS or, or other uh, transmissible diseases, uh, would be big in cities in Africa. Something big in cities in the U.S. is gun violence. How high is that on your agenda, and what are you all doing as an organization to address this? It's an epidemic, really. Well, yes, we, ha we have mayors against illegal guns, which has been in existence for now 12 or 15 years, that has come out. To, to help support the president and his goals to reduce the number of guns that are on the street. For, there, there's six times as many guns on the street as there are uh, in the population. So it's, it's a real serious problem, and a lot of them are assault weapons. We're talking about illegal guns, and, and people get to confused with the right to have a gun. What we're trying to do is make some sense out of this, and nobody needs to buy a gun every month. Makes, that makes no sense at all. So we're trying to put some common sense things in place in order to reduce the opportunity for it to happen because a lot of young people are killed just by the presence of guns in the house. Yeah, yeah, it is such a huge, huge problem. Um, for, for the mayors that are in the United States particularly, what's the trend? I, I heard you say there are 600 black mayors. Is that the number over that you 600. just... Over 600. Yes. Is that trending up? Is it staying, uh, staying consistent across the board? What's the trend? Well, it seems to increase every year. Uh, and, and I think when I first became mayor, uh, it might have been closer to about 480. Uh, and these are small town mayors, big town mayors, medium-sized uh, cities, and, and we represent over probably 60 million people just within our organization for the population that we, that we have. And, and you asked a question about Africa. I'm, I'm, I'm a follower of Leon Sullivan's principles that we all need to work together. My brother started a school in Ghana, and that was part of what the impetus was for us to get involved with African countries. And, and this is what we're trying to do now, is just work together to help everybody, help all of our people. And certainly, if we can be a leader as a National Conference of Black Mayors, then it works even better for all of us. In, indeed. Well, Mayor Robert Bowser, thank you so much for being here. We wish you all the best thank with you. your initiatives. Okay, thank you. Take care.